In the last section of this talk, I wish to speak about the last important aspect of my experience of creativity. Many different categories of person and professionals need to use creativity in their own activity, including architects, of course. But what makes really the difference is when a creative person needs to express creativity, I should say for a personal, physical and psychological need. This is all about we have already spoken concerning the deep themes and their progressive development through the different projects and works along the ent an entire career. So far we have spoken of professional projects. This means that uh, those design works are like answers to questions made by clients or competitions. The last step for creativity is not just answering to a call, but starting calling by itself according to something that becomes urgent to our social and ethical sensitivity. I started feeling this need as an enlargement of creativity range, extended to the entire life, including social problems and even historical events that affect myself as a person, citizen and human being. To achieve this was very important the work I did with my creative coaching. First step is to listen and believe in our creativity as a way to give answers. And the second step is to credit it also for making the question. And this is a totally different way to approach creativity and somehow is the willing to contribute to improve and fix what we feel is, is going wrong in this world. As an interesting sample, an interesting sample of this happened when the theme of reuse of oil offshore platform became a public discussion in Italy in 2016 for many months. All around Italian coasts, there are hundreds of offshore platforms that are arriving to the end of their life cycle. What to do with this uh, was a theme that something was fascinating me very much. How to turn these artificial islands into something that could fix the environmental damage. Then I made a series of sketches by myself, imagining to keep the just the structure of these constructions and regenerate them as a sea wonders islands, scientific research interactive centers and museum with hotel and resort for cultural tourism, scientific excursion and edutainment activities. I felt really free in this new kind of uh, approach to creativity and this experience was very important for me to understand that creativity could also work as a way to call for important issues that affect the life of the people. Another sample was the fire of Notre Dame in Paris. This, uh, the entire world was touched by this tragic event. In the news I read that the prior of Notre Dame proposed to have a temporary church in front of the historical building to host the liturgies during the, restoration, during the restoration works. I was impressed by this theme, by the story, by this theme, and I felt that the temporary church was joining two important themes. The metaphor of human condition, which is temporary, but with a definitive destiny, and the, and the hope and the, 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 the theme of dismantling and re, re, reuse a temporary architecture. Then I drew by myself a temporary church that could be produced and installed in Paris but after using it, it could be dismantled and reused in an needy diocese, maybe in Africa. I sent this proposal to the prior of Notre Dame and I received a kind answer and many newspapers talk about this proposal. I was very happy about this because I succeeded in giving an important and profound message with this, uh, with this design. It was a few uh, feature, uh, it was a, a new feature, a new type of creativity the possibility to launch powerful messages. The reuse was also the main topic for my proposal for the San Siro Park the AC Milan and Inter Milan Stadium area, there was a great public discussion last year in Milan. A new stadium will be built and the discussion started concerning how to reuse or demolish the old historical stadium. stadium. Again, I decided by myself to make my own proposal and I was very proud for giving my intellectual contribution to a problem of my city. 
We present this proposal to the municipality and actually it was useful for the local government to decide not to demolish the old stadium but they're reusing it for entertainment purpose and cultural center. A team park devoted to the football, to the football world and to the good values of this sport. As you can see, all the creative elements and deep themes are emerging in something that always somehow new and somehow old at the same time. And this rising theme uh, was something that uh, became the main theme in another project I decided to develop for a Crasta City competition in Riga. This was the case for something born in a personal research to enter into a competition design. This project was totally linked with the spirit and the poetry of the Riga, river Daugava in Riga, the capital of Latvia. I wish to stop this talk he here, like suddenly, just to emphasize that the journey of creativity doesn't have a finish, doesn't have an end, and ulti ultimately it is uh, our own way to investigate the world we live in, its beauties, its problems, and it's the possibility we have in our life as creatives to make it a better place, in order to leave it a little better than we found it. This is really what makes me feel in the right point of the universe while I create, while I design. Because I'm aware I'm somehow adding a little brick to the big creation of reality. I'm trying to put a little piece of order in the chaos and a microscopic piece of beauty into the incredible beauty we experience in our life. This is the very last reason that worth the case to be a creative. Thank you very much.